Hi, today I want to present you a little tutorial about Sweatshock and the use of hyperbolic surfaces and closed simulation in Blender. You can download Sweatshock on this website. Follow the instruction to install it in Blender. Then you go to this website and you find a nice Python script to make these hyperbolic planes. Just download it and follow the instructions later in Blender. Here is what we do today. Little setup using scripted notes. So go to GitHub, download the zip file, unpack it to get access to the Python file. Now open Blender. I've prepared a little uh, setup already where I have the upper half of the screen, the swear chalk note interface and a text editor. Into the text editor I will load Python, so the Python script you downloaded. When this is done, I go to the node editor and set up a new node layer for Sverchok. Then I add a scripted node. So on the generators, scripted node, you can find this one. Here is where we load the Python script. And then you open a visualizer so that we have something in the 3D view to see. Then you have some presets, Python scripts. Um, you can access or you can open the one that is in the text editor. Then click on the little plugin icon to open the scripted node or to execute it. Now you connect the words faces to the viewer. Here you can turn on and off vertices, faces, edges, turn on shading or just bake the whole thing. On the scripted node you can enter the values you decide. And when you are happy with the result, just can bake it to a real 3D mesh. So this is like a the blue mesh is like a virtual representation of the actual Swerchok node. And when you click on bake, you get access to the polygons to model and process them further. Now I turn off the visibility of the Swerchok. And here we are. This is the final mesh. Now to see what I do, some hotkey stuff. Yeah. Now I will define uh, some vertices as uh, points that get pinned for the closed simulation. So these points will stay uh, stationary. To do this, I put these vertices into a vertex group. That's what we do here. Don't forget to assign the vertices to the group. Now to check, we can open the weight editor. We see the red part is the influence of the vertices. Then we can go to the closed simulation, open the closed simulation and check the pinning and select the vertex group. When we hit play, we see the actual closed simulation working. Then we can Turn on self collision so it gets a bit more accurate, and we get control on how the self collision algorithm works. Now you can add uh, some modifiers like a subdivision modifier to subdiv the surface a bit. 
smooth the surface for the new part so that it looks a bit better. So this is with uh, one specific vertex group. Now I add a solidify modifier to give it some thickness, so it's not really really super accurate, but it works for the most time. So you see, if you look closely, some loops that are intersecting, but I don't care for that, it's just uh, anyway nice to see the model. So when you're happy with that, we can go a step further and add some hooks so that we can, can control the class simulation with moving objects that we also can animate. And for this I first uh, delete the actual vertex group, or I delete the content. So now we check the white data we see all is blue, so no vertices are attached. We enter edit mode, then I select the vertex, put the 3D um, 3D um, point to this vertex. I add an empty in this position. Then I first select the empty and then the object simultaneously. So first the empty, then the object. Then I enter edit mode and press Ctrl H to place a hook that is connected, connecting this vertex with the empty. And now don't forget to add this vertex to the vertex group so that the cloth uh, algorithm is working with this spinning vertex. Now when we press play we should have a problem, uh, we will see later, because we forgot one thing to do. But it's good to know um, the effect, so I'll show it now. So the pinning vertex is the same. Now when we try to move the empty, oops, why nothing is following? Hmm. Now, this has to do with the uh, sequence on how we apply modifiers. So we have to make sure that we first apply the hook modifier and then the claw simulation. So that the claw simulation reacts. So we still have the problem, now I enter uh, the modifier section. Here we go. Now we see that the hook modifier is not over uh, the close modifier, so we fix that. And immediately we see the result that we get a reaction when we move the. Let's wait a bit. Yeah, and remove the hook. So this is pretty cool. And imagine you put some subdivision modifiers and nice velvety surfaces or translucent surfaces. Get pretty amazing effects. But uh, one hook never comes alone. So we place another couple of hooks to see what we can do and then we will animate one of them. Yay! Okay, let's add the hooks. Go to edit mode again, select the vertex, press Ctrl S, place 3D, 3D cursor to this vertex position, then exit edit mode, add an empty, Select the empty first, then the mesh, and press Ctrl H to hook together. Then immediately after that, um, 
adjust the hook position of the modifiers section, then add the selected vertex to the vertex group to make sure that it reacts with it. Assign it. Now another one. Ctrl S to place the 3D cursor. Exit, edit mode, add an empty. Select the empty, select the mesh. Ctrl H. Add the vertex to the group and modify the position of the hook modifier. I will close them now so that you see closely how everything is prepared. So after the class modifier we have the subdivision modifier, then the solidify. Everything clean and nice. Now let's animate this. Should work, I hope. <laughs> We have forgot something. Now we have three hooks. You can generate pretty amazing things like capes or imagine Frankenstein or like Dracula capes. Really cool stuff. And of course corals. That's where it came from. <laughs> uh, now try to animate one of the hooks. See what's happening. Select it, insert the location key. Move the timeline. Insert another location key in another position. And we start the simulation. This is what we've done. I'm Daniel Bachmann and I hope you had some fun with this video. Um, I will hopefully make some more about Swerdjok because I like it. I want to get behind it and find out more. Really cool stuff. Blender rules. Have a good day.